Mike Deutsch, Slinging Birdies. We're doing golf sister sport today, tennis. We've done this before and we're gonna do it again. So I play 3.0 tennis. I play in a USTA league. I play on Monday nights and I've swapped my old trusty off the rack. It's a Babolat, it's a beginner racket, big headed racket. And I've gone for a premium racket, a Technofiber T-Flash 300. And it's endowed with quite the nifty tech, and I just want to go through it. First, you're wondering, what's typically the difference between a beginner racket and a racket for, you're getting a little better. I'm about to bump up to three, five, and I've been winning too many times. I'm going to self-bump. Maybe I'll get bumped up the usual way. But after this season, I'm definitely going three, five. So what you'll notice at first is this one is cradled by this one because the head size is smaller. It's a more maneuverable racket. You can turn it quicker. This takes more to turn, okay? So it's more maneuverable, meaning so you're at the net, boom, 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 boom. You can volley easier. Um, you'll find it quicker to, you know, swing it. It swings a little quicker. It's got this power stab geometry. Now, what is that? It's pretty cool. It sounds like a blood spatter, a forensic mumbo jumbo, you know, in a slasher flick or something like power stab. But it means that the frame shape generates more power. You get deeper shots, you get faster shots. It's mostly about the faster shots. It's easier to turn this racket head over. You're gonna get faster shots. Now what else it got? It got sensor link. Let's take a look at that sensor link. That's just the technology and how it goes through the little holes are called eyelets. That's how you string the racket. The stringing process utilizes an exclusive multi-material combo under the grommets, enhancing feel and impact acoustics. So basically, it's gonna sound cooler when I hit the ball. You can even feel the, the, wind, the wind sound sounds better when I hit the ball with this bracket. Large eyelets making the string off, string, stringing and tie-off knots a breeze. I can't really speak to that, I'm not a, a racket stringer, but I can just visually look at them and it looks cool. You wanna rock this look on the courts? You need the black code lime strings. I t tell you, when I took this to get my racket strung and they saw these strings, they were like, whoa. If you're wondering where the power stab is, power stab geometry. If I slice this open, you could probably stab someone with it. So anyway, we got that going. So let's talk about the last thing, the armor cap bumper. That's the top. You must protect your racket with a bumper, and this one's been thickened and widened and elongated so it can take more abuse. Now, I'm a 3.0 player, so there's some things that you wouldn't think to test with a racket. So test one, who's gonna serve first? You know, you go to the uh, net with your partner. Hey, nice to meet you. My name is Roger, what's your name? Philip, okay. We practiced, let's, let's, let's flip. With my old Babolat, I would spin it and I'd say, long line or short line and so it's short line so in the spin test this is kind of easy you know like a lot of rackets have a head has that ski is it up or down and this is a long line or short line now with this technofiber you don't really have that you have a jubilant tennis player has the atp on the atp tour he just like won and then you got the this f so i guess is this an F? Sorry, it's a T, but you know, it's kind of a stylized T, looks like an F. So all, I, guess, I guess all you could do is like uh, T up or down, but maybe it lands this way. We'll see. I think it can only land this way. This way, is that geometry right? It won't land this way? Because these are the fatter sides? I think that's true. So I guess you could say T or, yay, ATP tennis player, okay? So let's see if that works, and then we'll see who's better. We spun it, and the answer is no. It, you can, you can go this way and they're upside down. So for spinability, it's hard to, hard to spin this racket to see you, who's gonna serve first. It is the old fashioned Babylon. But let's go into some real tests now. So now get three balls and I'm just gonna go like this, 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 and then I'll just tell you, you have to get three balls and I'll do three balls with you. All right, go, go for it. I cheated. You gotta go over the net. Next. All right, let's go. Winner is a technofiber. It's easier to turn around in your hand. It's easier for volleys. Boom, 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 boom. You're gonna have more speed. This is a more maneuverable racket. So when you're at the net, for net play, clear winner, okay? From playing yesterday, played one set with the Babolat, Babolat, and I won 6-4, uh, but then I played one set 
with a T-Flash Technofiber and a 162. And I felt a decided difference. The guy was like, what, night and day, like, it's not me, it's the racket. Really was in that case. I was able to get around faster, had some really cool strokes. I usually kind of play the game where I moon ball up the whole time, but I felt comfortable going for like some hard shots to really take it to my opponent and end rallies fast with the Technofiber. I'm just gonna do a dribble test. I'm just kind of testing out how it feels to play around with it. I call this the flip test. It's a little game, little kids play it. Flip, 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 flip. So the Babylon has that big fat sweet spot, so doing this isn't that difficult. Let's see how it changes when you do the flip test with the T-Flash Technifiber. The acoustics on this are nicer, and that's basically why we're doing this test. If you thought this was just child's play, you're wrong. We're testing out that acoustic flourish, and this does sound a lot nicer on impact. Much better. So you can see this one's a little faded. This one's Snow White because it's kind of new. but. The tackiness, this is your typical, it's a Syntec grip, Syntec soft grip, but this typical soft grip, it feels nice and all, but if you have sweaty hands, this is going to get a little sweaty after a while and you won't be able to play with it. This is kind of like in Spider-Man when they redid it so that his webs were part of his hand and then when he was climbing walls, I think the Tobey Maguire, is, he had these little priggles. This is kind of like that. It's much more a tackier grip, so you're going to have a better grip on the tennis racket. It's a really great feel. You can kind of see it in those little holes there. This is their stock grip. I know some people regrip with what they want, but if you want a great stock grip, this is a, it's like a, the next level of this regular grip that comes with a lot of tennis rackets. In conclusion, okay, if you're thinking about making the swap, you're the 3-0 tennis player, play once a week in the league, you go for the beer, you go for the fun, the camaraderie, a little exercise, but you start to get better. You're about to level up. Is there gonna be a difference going from your typical giant headed beginner racket into a more intermediate to better play racket? The answer is yes, it's a big difference. Especially we're talking about the net, talking about regular swing speed on the ground strokes. Now, yeah, if you're more toward the beginner, you do sacrifice that giant sweet spot, so you're gonna take a little bit of time to get used to the smaller sweet spot, but it's worth it because the maneuverability is fantastic. It's been Mike Deutsch. You've been watching Slinging Birdies. I'm off to play some tennis now. I'll see you guys later, okay? Um, thanks again for watching. It's been real. I haven't warmed up or anything, so that was out. That was terrible. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. Okay, this is not a good idea. It gets, because this is right here, it's distracting me. <laughs> <laughs>